call to action. You probably heard this expression many times. What is it really? If you are a financial planner and you have a planning firm and you are producing content and you do a newsletter, which is very common, but you decide, okay, I'm going to start to do videos or I'm going to do webinars. So the call to action is to get people to take the next natural step with our content. So when we do content, we always should have a goal in mind. What do we want with this content? content. What step do we want people to take? If it's to download a free PDF file or leave them email or book a call with us. So the first thing you should really think about is, okay, when you write content, what is the outcome of my content? What do I want people to do? What actions do I want them to take? So In my previous videos, I talked about the storytelling, and then you have the content, educational material, and then the move into call to action. And the call to action doesn't need to be complicated, but you don't have to worry about it because when you are on a stage talking, for example, and you're giving that call to action, an offer, as we call it, they you already lost the people. They will decide within the min- few minutes if they're going to work with you. So don't worry about it. Just leave them the call to action. But if you produce videos like this, it can be book a free call with me or send me a, a, an email or send you a free PDF file or whatever you choose to do. But one call to action at a time. Don't overdo it because what I see often is that there's a many offers and then you just get confused and, and you know, you leave and you, you lost that prospect. So keep it very simple. And what you should really think about when you do call to action is that you have two personality types. You have the technical type that just want the stats and numbers. And it's that's very easy. You produce the content and then you give them, okay, this is the offer. But then you have the emotional part of the people that are very emotional based driven in their buying decisions so when you give a call to action don't forget to miss out of this 50 percent of the audience that are emotional based buyers or it's usually in a you know with a married couple one is the technical buyer and one is the emotional buyer so you give the offer and then you can just say well this feels great you know you're going to walk on the beach when you're 65 and your retirement is taken care of or your family is taken care of so always add that little extra sentence where you are resonating with the emotional buyers so if you want to talk to me about what you can do with your content and get your content actually moving forward and people taking the next step with you. You can book a call with me in my bio.